Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about Cassian Protein Powder and do you need it? Before I get into that topic, guys, I encourage you to please check out my new book called Massive Iron. You can find a link to Massive Iron below. If you're not satisfied with your results, guys, please check out my book. It contains 20 unique programs, unique programs, and, and if you don't like the programs in my book, uh, Massive Iron also shows you how to maximize any training system, so please check it out. So guys, let's talk about Cassian protein and whey protein. I get some questions about Cassian. Do I need Cassian? How is it different from whey? Is it beneficial to combine with whey? So on and so forth. So uh, supplements aren't normally my wheelhouse, but I will try to um, you know, go into it a little bit in this video. There are two things to consider when you're looking at whey protein and Cassian protein or muscle cell anabolism. You have muscle protein degradation, okay, and you have muscle protein synthesis. These are the two factors that kind of impact, you know, how many amino acids are in a cell or, you know, the, uh, the anabolism of a, of, a, of a muscle cell. Muscle protein degradation and muscle protein synthesis. Now, when you take whey protein, whey protein is fast digesting. It, um, it spikes, you know, the amino acids in your blood system, and then there's, there's a quicker drop-off. So you get those amino acids in your blood system. You get those uh, amino acids into your muscle cell, so on and so forth. Um, so it's fast-acting. Boom, it gets in, it, it hits, but it's not a prolonged. It's a big spike with the uh, blood amino acids and then it's a quicker drop off. Cassian protein on the other hand um, has a smaller spike uh, you know as far as amino acid uh, blood levels but then it's more prolonged it's more prolonged so the main benefit of whey protein from a scientific standpoint um, is that it's been showed, um, shown to increase muscle protein synthesis. Now on the other hand one of the main benefits of Cassian protein is that it is, it is uh, more beneficial to muscle, uh, muscle uh, degradation, muscle protein degradation. This means that because you have amino acids in your bloodstream longer, um, you'll have uh, your, your muscle cells won't need to pull out the amino acids from the muscle cells to use for other important bodily functions. So I know this is a, you know, this might sound a little bit confusing, but because you have, with Cassian, because you have the amino acid levels a little bit higher and they're in your bloodstream for a long time, your, your, um, your, your body won't need to pull amino acids out of the muscle cell to use them for other vital processes in the human body. So it, this is the uh, muscle protein degradation. It, um, it, uh, it spares your, your muscle cells from pulling the amino acids that are out. So protein synthesis, you know, from the whey protein kind of gets the, uh, the, uh, the vital raw materials into a muscle cell and Cassian can help keep them in the cell because of the prolonged spike in amino acid uh, uh, blood levels, uh, blood amino acids in your blood. So, I'm not sure if that sounds confusing, but that's kind of the science as I understand it. So, the question becomes, can you take, when should you take Cassian? Well, I recommend you can take it together because they kind of work they kind of work good together. Um, you know, the whey will improve the protein synthesis, and the Cassian will, you know, uh, um, work, you know, with improve the muscle uh, protein degradation. Um, so they can kind of work hand in hand. I recommend that um, if you don't eat right away after a workout, it might not be a bad idea to, you know, for those of us that have shakes, to have maybe uh, two-thirds of it with whey and one-third with Cassian, you know, if you're not going to eat for a couple hours. This is certainly nothing that's going to be uber critical. I'm not talking about anabolic window here. I'm just talking about some of the science behind some of this stuff and that it might not be a bad idea. Um, again, this isn't critical stuff, but if you're looking to optimize and maximize things, it certainly doesn't hurt. When you get up in the morning, um, instead of just having a whey shake, you might want to do a little bit of whey and a little bit of casein, especially if you don't eat much in the morning, so you can combine the two proteins. That way you'll have uh, amino acids, uh, the, your amino acid blood level uh, level in your blood will be uh, spiked a little bit longer throughout the, 
the morning and the, you know maybe into the early afternoon. It's a good idea to have cassian before bed um, because it will it will keep those amino acids in your blood and it'll spare some of them from the muscle tissue and maybe help you recover a little bit better. And if you're into interme intermittent fasting, it's probably a good idea to have cassian protein, in my opinion, um, you know, during the first thing in the morning. Or if you're going to, uh, you know, eat like I do, which is a variation, a fasting variation. It's not intermittent fasting, but it's a fasting variation. It's probably a good idea if you're going to eat like I do and have a couple shakes in the morning to probably you know use some cassian that way or a combination of whey and cassian that way you can increase muscle protein synthesis from the whey and whey has been shown to be beneficial for muscle muscle protein synthesis and reduce that muscle protein degradation or the pulling of amino acids out of the muscle cell from the cassian so long story short yes cassian does have benefits you want to use it before bed you can mix it with your whey shakes if you're going to be doing a if you're going to go through a period of fasting or a period where you're not eating much it's probably a good idea to to use cassian or use a combination of whey and cassian there's little downsides to this this stuff is scientific this this isn't my opinion it's not bro science how you use it though is uh is up to you. You know, um, this is, you know, someone could say, hey, you're recommending using it here, here, here. That's bro science. Well, you know, the, the science behind casein is that it, it spikes the amino acid levels in your blood. And, you know, it, it's, um, it's good for that reason. So it's just, it's just intelligent to use it before periods of time where you're not going to be eating much or maybe right after a workout where you might not be eating for a couple hours. Just use common sense here, guys. Just use common sense. So, guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, you can find a Q&A link below. Head over there. Post your questions. I'd be glad to help you out. And if you've made it this far into this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I would appreciate the support. So, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.